We're making a name for ourselves. I actually, you know, the way I describe Wolf of Wall Street to people, it's it's the last act of Goodfellas for three hours. <laughs> you know, I mean, narratively, narratively, it goes through the exact same structure. You mean but energy, energy wise, the, the man with, with the helicopters and the cocaine and, and the meatballs and all that. The, the kind yeah, of with the helicopter and the cocaine and the meatballs, which is usually those movies fall apart in the third act if you look at movies like Boogie Nights and other movies that have very well, similar up and down projections. It gets like, you know, like, oh, now we've had the fun, now we have to, for exactly. our own moral good, exactly. we have to get the really, like, sucky part where everyone's depressed and it, it's, it's miserable. Really fast, snappy voiceover, you know, Leo talking the camera, you go into the past, yeah. go back, you know, into some story, then it rewinds and you see another bit of the story. There's like a total that amazing confidence and freedom of movement within the narrative. I mean, basically, it's always the same movie. It's, it's you know, the it's kind of... It's the exact same movie. It's Raging Bull, even. It's like total, the total excess and kind of, you know, characters on, on the periphery of society's rules who kind of just live as however they want to live through all their bad behavior and impulses and appetites until it crashes and they become totally. an ordinary schnook. Casino's, Casino's a cinematic orgy, I think. Yes. I actually think there's going to be a lot of criticism. It's funny, I've already seen a little bit of this, of Wolf of Wall Street being derivative of Casino, which is so ironic since Casino was sort of yeah. held down I actually by think, I think Casino a retread of Goodfellas. I usually, I, like, I can see Leo acting. I'm like, oh yeah, Leo, Leo's not bad in this scene. Or, you know, uh, Leo's a little... He's doing the kind of haunted widower thing a little bit too much. Or he's jabbing, you know, like he has these little yeah. tricks. He's almost like mechanically a talented actor, but never just disappearing, you know? Yeah. And he disappeared into oh, this character. Oh, my God. And his physical comedy is outstanding. It's honestly a revelation. Like, for an actor we know so well, <laughs> it's truly really revelatory. Um, it's like the way I felt about Goodfellas. I was like, that felt like a two-and-a-half-hour trailer for the movie. And it just in, in terms of how it moves, <laughs> you know? It's like, it so, feels like a highlights reel. And this is a three-hour-long movie... And it feels like a highlights reel, just because everything in it is so good. It's like, where are the boring bits? Where are the, you know, yeah. there, there's a certain Scorsese style now, which I, I think really started with Goodfellas. Like if you look at Raging Bull, Taxi yes, Driver, After Hours, that, that kind of breathless, excess, crazy, visual, stylistic overload, but in an awesome way, style really began with Goodfellas. Because I'd liked his films up until then. I'm... I especially loved Raging Bull. But like what he did with Goodfellas felt like a new kind of chapter. I uh, I would definitely put those two. There's too many. You know, I, I would I would be loath to rank them. What I would say oh, is dude, it is. On, there, I'm totally I, ranking them. If you don't want to rank them, don't rank them. I'm, I'm going to rank my Scorsese's. You sure? You're going to pass You're, you're ready to rank them right now? I'm, you got, I'm you have, full on ready to rank them. You came in. You came in prep. Okay, what are your, what's your ranking? Uh, Raging Bull, number one. Okay. Goodfellas, two. I would put Wolf of Wall Street three after those. Wow. I actually wow. think I love Taxi Driver. I think it's a better movie than Taxi Driver. I think Taxi Driver is, is a great movie, but also quite flawed and rough around the edges, which is part uh -huh. of its appeal. I think Wolf of Wall Street is phenomenal. So I mean I would say those those three, then Taxi Driver, then probably after hours. Kun, probably Kundun. <laughs> <laughs> How does he do it? How does Scorsese do it? And I don't know. It's like some weird kind of master filmmaker alchemy.